Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Nice. And I am back with something that's beautiful, that's sitting right in front of me on the table. Besides, you know, my cup of coffee, as y'all can tell, you know, you want my coffee in the, the picture too, but y'all don't really care about that. Y'all care about this thing right here. Okay, so this is the new RC remote control from DJI. So this one you can buy along with your um, Mini 3 Pro drone, or you can get the standard one, which will not come with a screen, but also you will have to use your cell phone to buy your drone. So that's how you view where your drone is going. But if you decide to get the, the drone that comes with this new RC remote control, basically you, have, you don't need no cell phone anymore. Um, only thing you need your cell phone for is the hotspot if you have hotspot on your um, cell phone to connect this remote control to your Wi-Fi. Yes, you can connect this remote control to your Wi-Fi. All right, so we don't have the, the thumb things on the front, but where are they? Uh, you turn it around and you see under the remote control, you have the thumbsticks under the remote control. So we just pull that out pull both of them out just be careful to, to not lose them because they're so small that you can lose them real easy so you turn the remote control back over and then how you put these on you just push it on top and just start screwing just make sure that you know it screws in just be delicate just screw it on it's not that hard you know you just screw it so these are the controls you know to control the drone to go up down side to side round and round whatever you desire to do so if we turn it around, you see some um, controls on the on the front. You have the, the H slash pause button. So what that does, it's two buttons in one. What I mean is you have a home button. So if your drone is far away from you, basically you can press that button and your drone will come back home and it will land. Also, you tap the button to pause the drone in mid flight. So if your drone is just flying straight, you're flying sh um, fast and everything. You could just pause your drone in, 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 in mid air and it will just like stay right there. Also, you have some controls. You have the you have the C, which allows you to go slow. Also, normal it allows you to fly a little bit faster. And then the S is sports mode. So that allows your drone to fly faster. So, you know, if you're a little bit nervous and you're a beginner, I advise you to go on the C um, switch and just practice a little bit. The drone already goes fast enough on the C, so if you're not ready for the normal or the sports mode, please do not switch that switch right there to sports mode because your drone will just take off. Um, also next to it, you have a power button. The power button turns on this remote control. On the top of the remote control, you have the antennas that actually, you know, communicate with the drone to let the drone know, hey, you know, I want to fly and this is how high. So you got your communication at the top. On the left side, you have the record button. And then on the right side, you have the picture button. Tap this halfway, the, um, the picture button, halfway, your drone will actually focus. Now, if you press it all the way, your drone will actually take a picture. If you press this all the way, it will actually turn on record mode. Um, so on the top of it also, you have some rolly things. So it will actually, you know, either like zoom in the, the movement of the camera so that it will actually face up or face down. If you're up in the air and you want to face down, you just roll that down. The camera will actually look down. If you roll that up, your camera will actually look up. Right, so on the back of it, we have some buttons. Uh, this remote control comes with a lot. Um, you have the C1 and the C2. The C1 will act as functions for your camera, and the C2 will actually switch your, your um, camera on your drone to horizontals. The way that you turn on this remote control is basically, you don't just tap because then it's not gonna turn on your remote control. It's just gonna indicate how much battery power you actually have, but if you, Press and then press and hold, it will actually beep. Now, it shows a red light, also some um, blinking green lights. The red light indicates that your drone is not connected. The green light is indicating that your drone is connected and then the yellow light is indicating that it's like low signal. The, the remote control is actually turning on. This is what you will actually see when you set up your remote control. So this is the Fly More app. 
uh, the same thing that you actually have on your cell phone that you downloaded from the app store. Everything is embedded inside of the remote control. So now you're gonna use this for your view. So now you can, you know, go to your profile, you can go to Sky Picks where you can um, upload your pictures, you go to your album. Right now we don't have anything in our album. So um, we're gonna just swap back and that's how you actually go back to the main screen. You got the Academy. So the Academy will actually teach you and introduce you to your new drone. If you want to learn a little bit more about your drone, go to the connect guide. So now it's gonna show you your drone once your drone is actually connected. Once your drone is connected, basically it should connect. It will let you know how to connect your drone if it's not connected. 